I'm here again. Um, so I want to talk uh, briefly about um, having problems, the reason of problems with in-laws, the foundation, the foundation of problems having in-laws issues in your marriage. Most of the issues, let's be honest here, most of the issues, especially with mother-in-law, it comes down it happens because of money you know money especially the african parents you know they they feel like you know it's it's it's, it's a mindset thing they feel like you know the having children is 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 riches riches you know they have children to 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 um they have children to enjoy in the old age which is not bad you know is it's okay the bible said we should take care of our all our parents but what i want to um uh, focus on here and to shine light on here for we as a new generation is um people people need us to learn to save for the children i mean for their uh retirement okay you cannot um you cannot depend on the children for your well-being in your old age it's not fair to them you know if they want to do things for you you know out of consciousness that's okay i know maybe some african parents gonna bash me on this but that's that's the truth because this is the reason for most of the conflicts in relationships in marriages with in-laws and you know because the bible says a, 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 a parent or good father leave wealth for his children's children okay that's what a good father does so if you are in a position today and you know making money you need to put some money aside you know come on like for life insurance people don't really pay attention to that they don't have life insurance in especially if you live in the west they they, they 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 work all you know people work two or three jobs they don't even have life insurance they rather buy um the best of designers clothes which is not bad but you have to set the priority first you cannot forget about those important things and focus on the things that that doesn't matter it's not even with, with looking good but you have to put some certain things aside you know because life insurance it's going to help the other partner to take care of things you know while you are gone because especially like for example you guys have a home and you have three kids and the mortgage is like two thousand dollars a month all right and both you and your wife bring in like three thousand dollars every month okay and you guys remove the mortgage and then pay for car and all that stuff so when you are gone the other is 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 shutting you know there's nothing to else to add to what she has or what he has so that become very chaotic you know and you know the lady your wife or your husband have to go around begging people to bury you it's very embarrassing so and so because life insurance will help you to take care of your barrier and leave some money with her or him to you know to Take care of things until the uh, you know the spouse the the surviving spouse can decide on what to do next if they want to downsize or if they if they can maintain their property okay so that's what life insurance is for so those things and then something will be left to for the case you know so that's why it's very important see if you know uh, uh expert says that we should pay ourselves ten percent because we pay everybody else when we get paid, we pay all the bills and we forget about ourselves. It's very important when you take, get your paycheck, you will pay your tithe, your offering, and then, you know, you pay yourself, you know, depending on how much you make, five or 10%. They say 10%, but it, it depending on how much you make, you can pay yourself 5%, but it's very important to give yourself something and you 
put it aside in the bank that goes a long way so every 10 percent or five percent will be like 200 dollars every two weeks depending on how often you get paid you know so that will be in your savings and that will enable you guys um like when there's hardship or it's a loss of job or some emergency you guys have something to get in and get it out okay so that's why it's very important so if you if you have this mindset you're not going to depend on your children because the children have their own responsibility they have the children they're going to have the family it's 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 not fair for you to burden them to give you part of the household income every month to demand them and then if, when it's not coming you know they get mad the mother-in-law either get mad at the wife that she's mean or get mad at the husband that he's mean but they have their own family the bible says a man shall leave his mother and to be one with his wife that's a whole different family you know so they have their own responsibility they have the kids to take care of so we the coming generation we cannot make those mistakes because our parents did not set that foundation you know we have to take care of student loan we have to take care of so many things our you know we have to do we have to figure life out for ourselves and that's not how it's supposed to be as a parent you're supposed to make sure your, your kids tuition will be paid until the master's degree you know or up to phd they want to go and they, they at least to have money down for down payment and all that stuff but our, our parents did not do that so i just want to shine light on this it's very important you know do not just sit there and waste all your money while you are young you working you you make good money and you buying clothes you're traveling from parties from state to state for parties that is not being wise okay that is not being wise let's not repeat the mistakes our parents made that we have to struggle you know from scratch for everything but there was nothing safe for us you know we have to do everything and then they also a burden on us okay if you put these things in perspective you put these things into place you're not going to burden your children you're going to have money for retirement and you're going to have money for your sustainability if you get older you know that you don't have to burden your children because it's not it's not fair to them if they want to they will i mean every child has a conscience you know they want to chip in every now and then you know but don't allow yourself to be a burden on them especially us that in the west you know we have jobs we get paid every month or, or bi-weekly put something aside for your retirement so that way you cannot have issues with your in-laws that way you can sit and relax you know your daughter-in-law you and her can have a good relationship because you are not depending on them for anything like i um i know this lady and you know she she uh, asked her i say if your husband die are you are you going to stay with any of your kids she said oh no my other kid want me to come and stay with him but I, that's not going to be fair to his wife because i want her to have a space i have my retirement money to you know to sustain me you know of uh, uh, assisted living or you know in my own home so i already don't have to go burden my kids you know his his wife needs her space excuse me so i think that is that is reasonable all right so we as a new generation we should understand this thing we should see our parents past mistake and correct and not to carry on the same thing the visual cycle you know we should do things differently all right so we can be at peace with our children we can be relaxed and enjoy our grandchildren enjoy our daughter and our sons-in-law and have a very beautiful and happy family all right so I just want to come in and just shine light on that because I see a lot of that in families and it's only it's all because of money you know why the, the son cannot give the mom money because of the wife you know the mom has so much hatred for the wife and the the, the, the daughter cannot give her mom money and the mom has so much hatred for the son-in-law you know for her, her daughter's husband so if the mom was have kept something you know aside have kept her retirement for you know for her old age it wouldn't have been that we all you know and mostly from the mother-in-law that's why i'm referring to mother-in-laws because they are the main people that always have problem with the daughter-in-laws you know they always think that the daughter-in-law is the one that is tapping the son to give the money and they they forgot that these people have 
or expensive. They have the life they have bills to pay. They have kids to raise. You know, it's very expensive raising kids in the United States. So it, I mean, I don't think it's even matter about your geographical location. If you're in Africa, you're doing businesses, put some things aside. Some men in Africa, you know, like our parents in Africa, they will have good jobs and they will build houses for their girlfriends and they're not going to put anything aside for their biological children. And they allow those children to go and find life for themselves. That is wrong. That's not the will of God. All right? So let's make a difference. Let's in this generation let's do it the other way let's not do what our parents did okay so i love you all if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and hit the um the the bell thing and that way you're going to be notified of every new video that I, that i upload all right you guys have a blessed and wonderful weekend i'll see you next time Bye bye